Well, I found the queen. There she is marked in yellow. If you can see her there in yellow with the yellow dot. So don't shake this frame. There's a good portion of bees in the cup. The rest go in there. Close these guys up. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Let's see how many mites we have. Oh, one. One mite found in this sample of 300 bees, which is about half a cup. So, if you're a beekeeper, you have to keep on top of those mites. Uh, if you don't, they'll get out of control. And that's something I learned the hard way last season. So it's early August and I want to get my treatments on early. And to do that, I'm using a slow release oxalic acid that is embedded in these sponges. Um, I'll keep this on for 30 days and then I'll retest after that. So let's hurry up, let's get into some highs before it gets too hot, and I'll show you how this is done. Before we continue, an honorable mention goes out to Randy Oliver from Scientific Beekeeper, because without him and his work, none of this would be possible, and a lot of us beekeepers owe it to him to donate and contribute to his research, and you can do so by clicking on this Donate Now button. The application I'm going to use is going to be using the Swedish sponge. Uh, this is something that can be easily found on Amazon and I will leave a link to it below. All I'm doing here now is cutting each sponge in half to uh, distribute out the treatment evenly throughout the brood nest. All of my sponges have been cut. So now it comes down to the time of actually making this extended release uh, oxalic acid formulation. To do that, uh, you will need a scale and also a pair of gloves as oxalic acid can be irritating to the skin. For this, all I'm doing here is measuring out equal parts by weight oxalic acid and food grade glycerin. I now have everything I need to get started, so I'm going to head over to my propane barbecue and get to heating things up. What I'm doing here by heating the oxalic acid and glycerin is to bring them into solution. I am uh, putting this on low heat on my barbecue burner, making sure not to exceed 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that's very important uh, because after that temperature, there's a chemical reaction that occurs. So periodically, I am just checking with the thermometer, making sure my burner's on low and I continue to stir.
So you can see the mixture right now is a little cloudy uh, and milky. As it goes into solution, you'll notice it will become completely clear. This is what it looks like when it's ready to pour over these sponges. After you pour it over the sponges, I just let it sit for 24 hours uh, before I actually applied it to the hives. Now back in the bee yard, this is the easy part. All I'm doing here is opening up the hive and placing two of the half sponges over top of the brood nest and closing it back up. I wanna show you something. For anyone who wants to make comb honey, you might have seen in my other colony that when I installed the um, wax foundation in drawn frames i only do it halfway and this is a great example of why you only do it halfway you see how the bees have taken the half and drawn the rest of it down so that's one full sheet of honeycomb now all they have to do is wait for a flow and they're going to fill it but this takes the bees a lot of work and a lot of honey to produce wax so by only giving them half they also don't draw out the bottom super thick see how the frame not that thick so this is a really good colony right here very proud of these girls thank you bees thank you thank you appreciate all the hard work Woo! love it well guys as i put my smoker out here to hope that you found this video helpful um Oxalic acid is a treatment that's easier on the bees than other treatments. Um, I have high hopes for this uh, slow release version that I got from Randy Oliver. Um, if you don't know who Randy Oliver is, he is a fantastic beekeeper and researcher and is helping beekeepers around the world, um, you know, uh, to better keep and maintain healthier colonies by addressing um, bee diseases and viruses that commonly occur around the world specifically you know varroa mites uh, and the uh, nasty viruses they spread amongst colonies so you know big shout out to randy oliver he needs our support as beekeepers if you uh, don't know who he is head over to scientific beekeeper uh, and uh, check out his uh, content that he provides for free uh, through donations uh, by beekeepers like uh, us. Um, so I have high hopes for this treatment. I've only ever used uh, oxalic acid vapor uh, or dribble. Uh, now granted, oxalic acid works best when the colony is broodless, but this treatment, because it's a slow release, we're keeping it in for 30 days. The idea is as the bees walk on the uh, sponge and tear it up, they uh, put a bit of oxalic acid glycerin on their bodies and spread that uh, through the brood nest, killing all of the um, varroa mites that are about to get capped and, and reproduce. So I have high hopes. Uh, I hope this works. Uh, I know it probably will. Um, so stay tuned for more videos as I update you uh, on the progress of it and uh, check out the uh, buckwheat behind me. I'm uh, glad I planted that. And uh, if you wanna see how I did that, uh, check out the video in the description above or below. We'll see you soon and thanks for watching.